right, boys and girls. Here's the Honda. Who says I have a boom Bodillo bike? See that wrap? Oh, let me show you boys something. See this? That is a slave cylinder. Yes. ABS, that's my signature. I'm like the Riddler. Once I committed a crime, you know it's me. Honda here. So this is my design after I received that from the factory. The last thing I want to do is upgrade the sprocket. Otherwise, everything else is already added to it. The battery got changed. About to go home. So, this is the time that I walk the bike. And kill the light. Alright. Manufacturer copying people's videos to post on their website. Now, I don't do that to my video. This video is sponsored by China Motorsports and will be on ChinaMotorsports.com and is supposed to be uploaded to my YouTube channel, China's Motorsports, or whichever one is which. So, anyone who likes to copy videos, please make your own and do not copy this video. This is this is not for you. You didn't give me the bike with a hydraulic clutch. You do not give me the bike running good. What you give me is a crappy bike. So I had to fix your mistake. I'm making a video about it, so do not copy my video saying that the customer like the bike. Huh. Alright, so let's get down to business. I didn't want to make that video, so I had to say what I say because these videos that I made often get posted on websites and all of a sudden it will get misleading that they buy a product that is as good as mine while really they're buying a crap 
crab and then a crying wolf. So beware people before you buy this bike, unless you want to fly me over to your, to your state. And you pay me to fix it, which of course go ahead and buy it. Now, first, this is a Honda CB250 engine. There, there has been, uh, well, there, there were productions on this engine for many years now. The first company that ever produced this bike, way back, a long time ago was in 2016, that was by Dong Fan, hence the F250RTS. Yet again, I was one of the few chosen lucky ones that owned that bike, but based on my lack of mechanical expertise, it broke down at 5,000 miles. Now, this bike, this model right here, is a throwback of my failure back in my days for me to see if it will break down 5,000 miles or if it will last long. So the first thing I cut up when I had the bike was the service, the, uh, the idling issue. Did the service, change a plug. Well, Dong Feng did give me a NG case ball plug. Good for them. But Bodil straight up gave me a Chinese crab. Okay, I'll take that. So I did the service, not a bike idle smooth, and it, and it runs beautifully. The clutch, let's talk about that clutch. The only bike that I installed that clutch on was my V-Twin. I didn't install it on the, uh, the John Way yet. Because that bike was giving me so, prob so many problems. With engine vibrating and stuff like that, I didn't think it was worthy for the clutch. And then I got this bike while well, I just fixed that engine. I was hoping that I would that I would put it on the John Way. Come to find out that I changed my mind and I just wanted to put it on the new bike because it is made for the CG230. The V Twin was a customization that I made, and the John Way will be another customization that I have to make to make it fit. But this right here was a perfect plug and play. Right? With that, the bike is accelerating beautifully I mean I am holding up on traffic here just trying to you, you know how, how when you're big you know how when you're big and somebody small comes in front of you you try to be humble and that small person is hitting you and you are just you know you, you're pretending that you're hurt that's how that's why I'm on traffic with that bike but seriously that thing has a has a real torque power more than I've ever seen on any bike before even more torque than my V-Twin but not as much as my my John Way because my John Way has uh, two cylinders so I can confirm that bike is more powerful than this one but if I would change a clutch maybe it would be even more powerful because that clutch makes a huge difference yeah and I had a lag issue with the gas throttle it would accelerate but it would be up to par but after the clearance again, that's a really smooth thing. So, first issue, I didn't want to touch the bike because removing plastics on motorcycles, especially sport bikes, when you do it too much time, you tend to, you tend to break the, uh, the clip mounts on the plastic, especially when they join together. So, these sport bikes, when you're removing plastic just to show off for fun on YouTube, they don't last long. Bike, even though I'm, I'm a YouTuber and I'm a creator, I'm supposed to show you guys videos about it, but I'm not gonna do it just because I want to show you because it's gonna cost me if it breaks. Think about that. So I had to wait until the bike had a real problem. That's why I show you guys when I was doing the valve clearance, and even so, I didn't make a video of me showing you guys how to put the plastic on because that takes extreme care. when you have your sport bike not to break the plastic oh by the way I do sell those plastics so you can come to my website and just let me know which model which Chinese model we have and I'll just get it for you because just keep in mind that things from China they are expensive so you will get a Chinese bike and you will pay a premium price for parts when you buy it from me 
unless you know how to bike, and even so, I don't know if you, if you can do it, because that bike itself is like, it's like, you see, take an example of a potato, you go to a, a supermarket and you're buying a potato that is labeled as a potato, but when you go to a different supermarket and you're trying to find a potato, you're not going to find a potato labeled as potato, you're going to find a potato as something that's going to label as, as this something round and shape and brown that you can cook with oil and taste salty so that's that's the definition of buying parts for chinese bikes you really do not find a part that you need but you find a long description of the part that you that you need <laughs> unbelievable in conclusion it's a cb250 six speed engine Talk about it more in the next video. that I want to